Welcome back. You know what time it is. It's time for you to check in with Bob Bosold over at Wax to see what's happening in the crop world. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Leanne. Did you look at the moon this morning, that blue moon? We were trying to find it. We think it's hiding behind a cloud or something. Yeah, so. it's low. It's low in the city. you got to look back over, I don't know, down towards town, and you, you'll be able to see it. But it's really low in the sky. Mm -hmm. I would like to catch a glimpse of it, so hopefully we can catch it on our sky cam yeah. <laughs> sometime well, today. You run outside while I do my thing, and you'll be able to see it. <laughs> Will do. All right, let's take a look at what's going on this morning. Crops across the country continue to progress, even as the hot, dry weather continues in many areas. And, of course, with that forecast, it's not going to change much this week. This week's crop progress report shows the condition of both the corn and soybean crops fell over the past week, but only slightly. Corn now rated 56% good to excellent. That's down 2% from last week, but still a little better than a year ago. 86% of the corn has now reached the dough stage. That's a little ahead of both last year and the five-year average. The report also shows 51% of the crop has dented. <coughs> excuse me. 9% of the plants are now mature or safe from frost. Soybeans are rated 58% good to excellent, down 1% from last week. And 91% of the beans are setting pods. About 5% of the plants are dropping their leaves. And for both corn and soybeans, some of the poorest crops in the country are out in Kansas. Here in Wisconsin, the condition of both the corn and soybean crops improved over the past week. Both the corn and soybean crops are now rated 59% good to excellent. Report also shows 98% of the corn in the state is silk, while 77% of the plants are in the dough stage. 21% of the crop has dented. In the beans, 97% of those plants are blooming. 88% are setting pods. State farmers have also been busy with other crops. 79% of the oats harvested, 98% of the winter wheat, 22% of the fall potato crop. Also, 93% 93, 93 of third crop hay has been put up, and 39% er, of fourth crop is uh, now up. Topsoil moisture, that's the concern, needs to be replenished before freeze-up. It's rated just 52% adequate, 36% short, 12% very short. No one in the state is reporting any surplus moisture. Well, some soybeans are already being harvested, and for one farmer in Georgia, his combine had to do a little extra work. That's because grower Alex Harrell of Smithville, Georgia, worked with the previous world record growers Randy Doughty and David Hula to produce a soybean crop this year that averaged just under 207 bushels an acre. Doughty had the previous record of 197 bushels an acre. Wow. And the Youth Showmanship Contest at World Dairy Expo will be more prominent from now on that's because Milk Source Genetics and other groups are kicking in $120,000 to that contest over the next 10 years. It's all in memory of Annette Ostrom of Milk Source Genetics, the wife of Jim, the longtime founder of Milk Source, and she too herself was a longtime exhibitor at Expo. First and second place winners in each division will each receive cash awards of $1,500 and $750 respectively. They will also compete then for the Supreme and reserve supreme champion showman and the overall champion will then be awarded the Annette Ostrom Award, a crystal trophy and a cash award of $3,500 as well as being recognized during the Parade of Champions. A reserve champion showman will get an additional $1,500 for finishing second. Now Dairy Expo runs October 1st through the 6th in Madison and by the way if you're going to enter, enter cattle, those entries are due September 4th. Let's go to the markets where the prices were down yesterday as traders just aren't sure of the condition of these crops. And a little movement overnight, it was mostly up. December corn overnight did go back up three cents, sitting at 490 this morning. The wheat at 604. November soybeans up one to two at 1394. Dairy markets were mixed, but we should say they were mostly higher yesterday. <clears throat> Barrel cheese up six at 186. The blocks up four and three quarters. The butter was down a nickel at 262. Class three futures price August down two cents. September back over nineteen dollars, up seventeen cents to nineteen oh four. And October was up twenty-eight at eighteen ninety-two. So that's a good thing out there. And it's a good thing the uh line and kugel strike was settled. So those guys can get off the line and Go to Jim Fall Sturgeon Festival this weekend and enjoy their product. Yeah, 100%. I was happy to hear about that, too. I'm yep. glad everything worked out. I know it. We'll be able to enjoy it again. <laughs> yeah. Have a good one. You, too. See you later.